Hello. Uh, today, so uh, my topic is about the movement of particles in our progressive waves. So we all know what a progressive wave is. Uh, it is the wave which carries energy forward, energy forward from the source to the destination. And a simple progressive wave, uh, a progressive transverse wave will be somewhat like this. So let me say this is the wave. This is the wave that we have. And this is the midpoint, let us say. The midpoint is somewhat like this. Now let me assume that the, the energy is going to this side. This is the direction of energy. Or let us say this is the direction of energy. Now uh, let, us, uh, let us discuss the movement of particles here. So right now this particle, this particle A is at the top and uh, this particle let us say the particle here B is at the, B is at some, somehow middle and C is at the bottom. Similarly, uh, I have uh, this particle D here, the particle E here is at the lowest point. Again I have a particle F, particle G, particle H and particle I. So, particle I is similar to particle A. Now, what happens is, if the particle, if the wave is going like this, it means that the crest is, should shift to this side. The crest should shift to this side. So, this means that this B should come to the top. This B should rise. But if B should rise, if the crest comes to B, then this A should fall. So, that means, that means that right now, A is at the top and this is going to fall, going to fall. So, B is at this time, B is rising, B is rising, C is also rising, D is also rising, also rising and this E should also rise. This means that what we might have is, so crest here means the trough also comes here, that is why E should also rise. Now, if the trough comes here, if the trough is to come here, this F should fall, F should fall because the trough should be here and if F falls, this G also should fall, should fall, H also should fall and I also should fall. And here let us say the new particle here J, this J should, this J should now rise. So after that, the particles, the wave becomes somewhat like this. So let me draw from here, let me draw it with the red one. So this falls it must fall somewhere here, this rises, it must come here, this rises, this also rises. So now my wave is somewhat like this, somewhat like this. And this also rises, this uh, falls, so it is somewhat like this, like, uh, like this. And it uh, falls, falls, uh, falls and uh, it rises, so that the wave now becomes somewhat like this, somewhat like this. Now again it is the same thing here, since the crest is to go there, what happens now is the particles here again rise, the particles here again rise and as it goes on the wave will now become somewhat like this, they will become somewhat like this, this, this and this and so on. So what I am trying to uh, say is when we have a wave like this and when and when the energy is going to this side, energy is going to this side, the point at the top is about to descend, this point is rising at that moment, this point is also rising at the moment and this point is also rising at the moment. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, so this point is falling at the moment, this point is about to fall and so on. So if it is going to the right. But if it is going to the left, to the left, then at that time all these things will reverse. And uh, regarding the forces, regarding the forces, what happens here is, regarding the velocity actually, the velocity at this time is 0, it is about to return back. The velocity here will be a maximum because the midpoint, SSM, simple Hamming motion, the velocity here is 0, it is about to rise up, velocity is maximum, velocity is 0, velocity is maximum, velocity is 0. And uh, regard to force or acceleration, A will be max here, A0, A max, A0, A max, F max, F0, F max, F0 and F max. So if you give some time, if you give some time to draw this pattern, you will definitely know 
the direction of the movement of particles at, at a particular instant and which makes which might make uh, things uh, easy while studying the progressive waves.